What's going on everyone? Justin here with Trading Cards and More back with another box opening video. Today we're going to be doing a box of 1992-93 FLIR Series 2. I've been working on getting Series 1 as well. That it comes in like a black box. Uh, there are insert cards in here. You can find the 18 Sharpshooter subset. I don't think there's any like big names in there. Uh, but you're looking for the Shaquille O'Neal rookie cards in here. Uh, there's two different ones, I believe, and then I'm not sure if Jordan had any cards in Series 2 or not. I know he had like, at least three cards in this set, um, but those might might be in Series 1. I'm guessing there's like a few in Series 1 and maybe one in Series 2. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, pretty nice box. These go for around 70 bucks or so on eBay, uh, so I picked it up. I think I got a little bit better of a deal on it. Um, trying to open every single box from these years, pull all these iconic cards, so this was of that we're definitely going to be working on getting series one because i do want to own all the jordan cards and uh probably after we open this we might do another box of i don't know 90 hoops or something uh, just to kind of make it a longer video looks like kind of a wax pack style uh, but they're plastic so those can be a little bit annoying to open hopefully we don't have any issues here and the box doesn't have any discoloring, but it's made out of a different kind of cardboard, looks like. Really nice. Very, very nice. All right. So we're looking for Shaq rookies and Alonzo Mourning, who's also a Hall of Famer. And then, of course, if there's any Michael Jordan cards in here, I'm not really 100% sure. But I do remember these cards quite well. We used to go down to the, um, the liquor store and we'd get packs of cards for like 50 cents or whatever they were back in the day. Alright, pack number one, let's check it out. Got that nice kind of brownish goldish border and we've got a Pooh Richardson and look at that, we got a Michael Jordan card on the first pack. First pack magic. Looks pretty top to bottom off centered, uh, but it's the famous shot of him uh, dunking over Patrick Ewing. Uh, I'm not sure if he made that shot or not, I'm guessing he probably did. Card 273 in the set. Uh, it's the same image as his first Topps Stadium Club card, but it's more close up. So, insane. We got a Michael Jordan card on the first pack. And look at that, his rival, Hakeem Olajuwon, right after it. That's insane. Robert Horry, looking for the Shaq rookie card. John Sally. And Kenny Walker. Okay, so the main one was the uh, Jordan, and then we got a Hakeem Olajuwon on the first pack. Sweet. Yeah, sorry, Chad, I forgot to tell you. It's busy getting stuff down here. Got one Jordan. Yeah, these packs are going to be a pain. I don't want to rip them open too fast and damage the cards. We got some more uh, really good boxes on the way. Um, I ordered, I think, two boxes yesterday. We still got the 93, 94 tops on the way. I still want to do the 90 FLIR. But I am waiting on one more box to show up before I open all of the uh, 90 FLIR. I figured we can do uh, two boxes at once there. And then I did pick up another 90, was it 91, 92 hoops? Or 92, 93 hoops. I think it was 91, 92, uh, series two. I got a box for $30 with uh, free shipping. I just couldn't pass that up. All right, packs three, four, and five here, or two, three, and four. We got Dikembe Mutombo to start it off there. Anthony Peeler. And like I said, I think Shaq has two different cards in here. And of course, Alonzo Mourning. David Robinson card, very cool. I'm not seeing anything that says like r rookie on the card, so that's kind of strange. I'm assuming Series 2 had all the rookie cards in it, I could be wrong. Avery Johnson. All sets back in the day had all your rookies in S Series 2, and Series 1 was all your veterans and stuff. There's my new bowl. Oliver Miller, Will Purdue. Yeah, because I'm not really seeing... I mean, I only know, like, the main rookie cards, but I'm not seeing, like, any rookies. Mm -hmm. 
Very nice. Forgot to turn my notifications off there, so I'll do that real quick. Yeah, good old 92, 93 Fleer. I also got another box of Collector's Choice, uh, which has Jordan on the front. I can't remember what year it was. I think it's 95, 96. I got it for like 50 bucks, I think, and that was like a, about a about $100 box, so I got a really good deal on that. And then I got a box of Upper Deck, um, I think 92, 93, it's got Jordan on it, I think. A uh, bunch of Jordan cards in that, and I got that one for like pretty much half price as well. I actually bought two boxes from the same seller um, at auction, and uh, he was nice and knocked down some sh some on the shipping as well so both those boxes are on the way uh, as soon as those get here it's gonna be pretty fun to open ah these plastic packs are annoying yeah i don't know why we're not seeing any of those main rookie cards it's kind of weird here we go we got a jeff hornacek sharpshooters card very nice so that was the insert card there's uh, 18 cards in the insert card set um, they're not super valuable I seen somebody with like five sets and they're only asking like 25 bucks for all of them. There's Scotty Pippen flying through the air. Very cool card. Pippen's cards are definitely going up in value. There we go. We got it. The Shaquille O'Neal rookie card. Uh, this is the main one here, the base card. Card number 401. More slender Shaquille O'Neal there. It is top to bottom off centered. Unfortunately, that's probably going to be like a PSA 8 uh, just because of the centering, but. Nonetheless, we got a Shaq rookie pack fresh card. Happy that you know we got one. Sweet, set that over by Michael Jordan there. That's the main thing you're you're trying to get out of here is the Jordans and the Shaquille O'Neal. And we got another one. We got the other Shaq card, the slam dunk card of Shaq. This one looks a lot, a little bit better off you know centering. The top's pretty skinny though, so that's probably going to be a nine at best. And uh, this card two ninety eight. So, I'm not sure if we're going to grade that one either. I'll have to look into what the prices are on these. Um, man, I was just hoping we'd get a nice, nicely centered uh, shack, but it's not looking that way. Odds are, if that one's off center, there's uh, Christian Leitner, uh, rookie card. He was pretty good. Uh, I didn't know it, but he was part of the dream, yeah, the dream team. Latrell Sprewell, another good uh, rookie card there. Those are kind of the main four. And then Alonzo Mourning we haven't got yet. Sean Kemp, Charles Barkley. We got another Jordan card. Same card, I believe. Yep, same card and same centering on it with that real skinny top centering, unfortunately, on that one. And the Shaq. Pretty much both Shaqs are both, I mean, both of them are, are bad on the centering, so... Cool card. Uh, sucks about the centering. And then we got Hakeem Olajuwon right after it, just like last time. So, I think we got all the cards already that we're really looking to get. Other than the Alonzo Morning rookie card. Not too shabby. Just wish there was a way to get these packs open a little bit quicker. Without worrying about dinging the cards. So it's like, if, you, if you're not careful, you try to pull them out and get, snag a corner. Thank you for sticking around, Christy and Chad. Is he still in here? <laughs> Where's everyone else at today? Usually we get a whole host of people in here. I guess I went live a little bit too early. Figured I'd go live before I um, leave to leave for the post office. Usually go there, drop off all my packages. Get out of the house for a little bit. All right. Not even a fourth of the way done here with uh, two Shaq rookies and two Jordan cards. I'd say we're doing pretty darn good. So if that's only Jordan in, in this set, Series 2, then there should be uh, two Jordans in the Series 1. And like I said, I'm trying to get the, the Series 1 box as well. Um, I just want to you know, pull all these iconic... God almighty, these stupid plastic... It's like they picked the worst kind of tough plastic to try to get into um, these iconic uh, cards I want to get them all 
uh, from packs myself and then, you know, grade them and everything, especially when you get, get the boxes for, you know, under 100 bucks a piece. I'd rather just pull the cards myself. There's Carl Malone. It's when you get into some of the other uh, boxes that get too expensive. <laughs> Look at that quality control. We got another Jeff Hornacek. Man, same darn card. Uh, Scotty Pippen again, that's the second one of them. And we got the Shaq card. That means his other rock, uh, rookie card is probably be not far behind it. And once again, really, really uh, far off on the centering, unfortunately. Um, but pack fresh nonetheless. I mean, sharp corners. Um, it's even left to right off centered as well. So probably would get an 8, though, just because of that centering so far off. Um, unless they gave it a 9 OC, but that's... Can't really expect him to do that. There we go. We got the other one, the Shaquille O'Neal. Same centering as the other one. Card 298. Um, you can almost see like a line over here. Almost like it was supposed to be cut right there, but it wasn't it was cut in the right spot. I don't know. But two Shaq rookie cards of each, each uh, different version there. Uh, like I said, this is like the slam dunk Shaq rookie and then the base one. The one right before it seems like we pull the Jordan card, and then we pull the Shaq rookie, then the other Shaq, then we get the Christian Leitner, and then we'll get the Latrell Sprewell here, Dale Ellis. Yep, just like the last time, and Latrell Sprewell, <laughs> so predictable. And then Sean Kemp, and then Charles Barkley. <laughs> oh gosh, this is great. Chris Mullen, very cool, Hall of Famer there. But like I said, the uh, insert set is not worth much of anything. Um, unfortunately. And I think Series 1 has an insert set with Jordan in it. Um, I could be wrong, but I seen an insert card. It wasn't worth a ton, like 5 or 10 bucks. Um, but it would be really cool to open that card out of the pack once again and, you know, be able to grade it and stuff like that. So, I'm going to be looking to get Series 1 box as well. Just a matter of time. I'm not, you know, rushing to get every single box that I want because obviously every you know I've got probably 10 boxes just sitting right here that we can open on the channel and I try to open like one new product a day and then maybe do like a throwback you know something we've already opened also so we're kind of you know a little bit more entertaining to watch longer videos for some people and uh if I just buy them all at once, then I, I'll open them faster, and then we won't have anything else to buy. Um, God almighty, this plastic is horrible, man. Ugh. It's like, you just can't get into it. It's like, what are you supposed to do? Killing me, Smalls. Ugh. It's like, we already know the cards are off-centered anyways, but... It's so annoying. It takes you an hour to get that pack open. Patrick Ewing, Charles Barkley... Um... Come on, let's see that Jordan. There's Robert Parrish, Hall of Famer, Spud Webb. Look at that dunk. Guy was five foot seven. It's okay. He's, I think those are Jordans he's wearing too, like the first Jordans or whatever. Could be wrong. Pooh Richardson again. Isaiah Morris. Dennis Rodman card. Very nice. Very nice. Dennis Rodman. And a bunch of duds. There we go. We got the Alonzo Morning rookie card there. I'll go ahead and put that in the sleeve. Time to open a new pack of sleeves here. I'm already on my third pack of sleeves. And I just got my sleeves in yesterday. I've already gone through 200 of them. Alonzo Morning rookie card. Not a ton of value there, but, I mean, he is a Hall of Famer. Cards are eventually going to go up in value. Uh, Dominique Wilkins. People just haven't uh, really bought into him yet, I guess. And Kevin Johnson. Clyde Drexler. See, because we saw that Alonzo Morning, we didn't see any of the, the ones that we've been pulling um, pretty regularly, so. Christ, these packs. These packs are going to be the death of me. Wish there was a way to just get them open without, like, worrying about damaging the darn cards. Ah, stupid pack. It's like I don't want to pull a good one and then it gets damaged. Especially Jordan, but every Jordan has been off centered. Looks like we got a blue back card that's probably one of those insert cards again.
Yeah, um, Shaq's main card is um, his tops rookie card, and then his top his tops gold. And you can buy the you can buy the '92 tops series two boxes for right around 100 bucks. You'll probably pull a couple of his base cards uh, with a shot of his um, gold card, and then you also got four Michael Jordans in the set. So I'm guessing, ooh, that card's got kind of almost like a piece of card on it. That's weird. Uh, you probably pull his. Um, and look at that, we got another Chris Mullins, just getting double after double. Um, you'll probably um, pull two Jordans in the first set and two Jordans in the second. I'm not 100% sure, but I might actually try getting one of those boxes because the, the gold shack is going for like a thousand bucks right now. Charles Barkley, so to get a box for a hundred, I think is still really nicely priced because his, uh, his rookie card has been going up ridiculous. Uh, is Alonzo Morning coming? We just got the Spud Web. Dennis Rodman. I think we'll get another um, Alonzo Morning here. I'm just going to guess. Jeff Hornacek. Yep, Alonzo Morning. You just start to see all the same cards and you're like, oh, we got another Alonzo Morning coming. So, same deal with the centering. I probably wouldn't grade a Alonzo Morning anyways. I mean, even his tops rookie is like super cheap. Uh, even in a PSA 10 and then his tops gold, PSA 10 is only like 50 bucks. So, actually. I'm sending one of those off to PSA. Figure I'll add that to the collection since that's, you know, probably his top rookie card. Um, and then, of course, the insert, like, draft pick cards that he had from, I think, like, Hoops or Skybox. Those are, those are going to be the ones that you want to get, not just the base cards where there's millions of them out there. But, yes, uh, people finally started buying Shaq cards again. And uh, especially his, his beam team card, people like they pretty much consider that to be his rookie card, even though it's an insert card. That's like such an iconic card. People have been buying that first year beam team card. <clears throat> I almost got my hands on one, but then we opened a box trying to pull one, but we didn't we didn't get lucky enough to get it. I think we got we got another player that was pretty good, but we didn't get a Shaq or a Jordan, which would have been pretty sick. My Ops Net, what's going on? Sly Owen, what's going on? I was wondering where you guys were. <laughs> so, so far we've got two Alonzo Morning rookies, four Shaq rookies, and two Michael Jordan. So each card we've gotten, uh, we've gotten two copies of, and we're only halfway, halfway done with the box here, so I think we're doing pretty decent here. Then after this box, we're probably going to crack open 1990, uh, 1990 Hoops. There's a box I can get through uh, pretty quick. We still got two of those boxes, and that's the one where you pull the Jordan cards and stuff. There's a Del Curry uh, insert card. Very nice. Ron Harper behind him. Oops. Scotty Pippen almost skipped over that card. And we got another Shaq rookie card. Nice. So we'll f we'll get this one, and then like four cards later, we'll get his other um, rookie card. And once again, the top centering and the left to right is really really bad. I mean, not even close on that. Not even, not even a nine, James Edwards. So we should get the Shack one here pretty quick. Here, there's Manute Bowl. Um, okay, there's another Manute Bowl. Maybe we don't get that other Shack rookie. That's weird. Are we gonna get the Jordan though? Seems like all the cards are usually pretty close together. There's Carl Malone. I think we might have skipped over the um, the other Shack like. It, Quality control is a little different there. Dana Barrows, uh, insert card. Kendall Gill. I don't know if I'll buy any more of these boxes. I do want to get the Jordan in a 10, though. Uh, Patrick Ewing, and then the, the Shacks as well. I want to at least have those graded. You know, At least a grade-worthy 9 would be nice. Robert Parrish, Spud Webb right behind him. So we did not get anything but the Shack on that one. That was weird. James is in here. What's going on? So we've gotten five Shack rookies, two Alonzo Mornings, and two Michael Jordans. Not a bad box, I would say. I just wish the, the centering would have, would have been good on them. But it seems like all the cards are having uh, centering issues. So I think that must have just been a point common thing with this set in general um i mean i mean like that one's okay like all of these cards look 
you know, there's at least some sort of a centering issue, whether it's the top to bottom or the left to right, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is, I guess. I'm sure I could just go out and buy the cards, you know, already graded if I really wanted them. They're not super expensive. Uh, Lewis Fam, what is going on? We are 20 minutes in. We're still got a fourth of the pack to open here. Just these packs are... The plastic is really, really tough, and it's really hard to rip them open. Gotta worry about damage to corners or the edges. It's quite annoying, but it is what it is. Pooh Richardson. Isaiah Morris. Dennis Rodman. Very nice. Jeff Hornacek. There we go. We got another Alonzo Morning. I think that one's a little bit different on the centering. Nope. Looks pretty similar. So we got our third Alonzo Morning of the video there. So you can see why back in the day people would, you know, if they opened up boxes and boxes of these things, uh, they would get so many copies of these cards. And then they'd have like, you know, 50 copies of the same card. Those are the people I'm buying, you know, these cards off of and then going through and finding the ones that I think are going to get 9s and 10s and then selling the rest of them off, getting my money back. Another Dana Barrow, so we've gotten doubles on those every single time. Still looking for some more Jordans here, but yeah, I'm not not too happy with the, uh, the centering on these cards, but that's only really the only issue. I mean, all the edges and corners all look really good. There's a Charles Barkley in again. Corey Williams. I feel like we're going to get another Jordan here. Could be wrong. Robert Parrish again. Spud Webb right behind it. Yep, same old order. It's going good. Thank you. Uh, let me know what what you guys want to see on the channel. Um, pretty much mostly we just do basketball, vintage basketball, anywhere from 89 to the mid-90s. Um, once you get towards the late 90s, the boxes start to get to like $100 plus per box. We've opened a few of them on the channel. Uh, you know, it's real. It's, it's way more of a risk, and you generally don't get your money's worth out of the box. So that's why I'm I'm more amped to buy a box from you know a set like this where it's like under $100, and you're gonna you're gonna pull some good cards. Might not make my money back on this one just because of the centering on the cards, but some of these boxes I pulled. You know, ten grade worthy cards out of the out of the one box. I can uh, I can eat pretty much easily get my money back out of those. All right, was that a shack? Yeah, I think that is a shack coming up here on that last card. Christian Leitner, one of the greats. Clarence Weather and then the Latrell Sprewell, not far behind. So I'm wondering if we're gonna get another Jordan here because no, Jeff Hornacek on the morning. <laughs> Dominique Wilkins, Patrick Ewing. Oh man, that's our fourth uh, Lonesome Morning. Sam Bowie rookie card. Yeah, I haven't really been paying attention, um, but I'm sure it's on here. Um, that might not be the right checklist, but yeah, I'm sure it's in here. I mean, Sam Bowie, I don't think it's that good of a card, but there we go. We got a Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, same deal with the centering on it. I'll just set it there for now. Let's leave it afterwards here. Another Kristen Leitner. Clarence Weatherspoon. And then the Latrell Sprewell. Oh, man. The, the quality control, man. Every time. Sean Kemp. Charles Berkeley right behind it. So I don't think we're going to get another Jordan. Oh, we got a Jordan. <laughs> I stand corrected. We're not going to get another Jordan. Boop. Another Jordan. Uh, same deal with the centering. Um just so far off man I just I don't even think this would get a nine just because of the centering so our third Jordan and we're gonna go ahead and sleeve the shack I think that's our third shack of that one and then I think our fourth Alonzo morning so you definitely get your money's worth as far as getting getting the main cards you're looking for you get multiples out of the same box which is kind of nice it just sucks that the centering has got to be off on every single one of them like the same same amount and we got another shack. Uh, that I seen that at the beginning because it was on the back of the pack there. Pretty, 
pretty far off centered as well. Um, Okie dokie. I wonder what I could get off of it, get out of those Shack rookie cards if I just kind of just sold them off. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Seven pack fresh Shack rookie cards. Probably get like forty bucks at least. Probably get half my money back on the box just off of those. But uh, not really sure. Actually, I got a bunch more of them too. I got I bought out a collection for little over a dollar a card and I got a bunch of those um, those Fleer ones left. I just haven't uh, haven't sold them yet. Yeah, 84 and 85 uh, there, w there was no boxes. But 86, yeah, you know, I could never afford that. Maybe one day we'll open a pack from the 86 which I haven't even looked as of recently. I'm, it's in the thousands of dollars just for one pack. Um, and then, of course, second, you know, 87, you had the second year, uh, for Jordan, and that's a super expensive set, and then the third year, the boxes are like, uh, the 88, the boxes are like, I think 1500 or $3,000 or something like that. It's probably a pack of that would be at least 100 bucks, maybe a little bit less, uh, but if you wanted a graded one that was, um, you know, guaranteed that it was not messed with. Probably looking at 200 bucks or so. There we go. We got another Shaq rookie card. Nice. Let's set that down for now. A new bowl. So we got that one. Then we sh should have another Jordan here coming up, maybe. Christian Leitner. Dale Ellis. Clarence Weatherspoon. Latrell Sprewell is always right behind him. Sean Kemp with Charles Barkley right behind it. <laughs> oh, man. Just, it's too predictable. Uh, Del Curry again gotten that card at least one time and we got the Jordan card <laughs> we called that one as well I mean it wasn't right behind the shack but it's usually like the next pack or whatever um, yeah pretty far off centered on that one as well very very unfortunate so might just have to buy another box of these I don't know I'm sure we eventually will there's Hakeem Olajuwon because knowing that I'm gonna get four shacks of each card and four Jordans of each and I think it's well worth it. Um, there we go. We got another Shaq. Even worse on the centering, I think. Well, it's pretty similar. Yeah, you're just going to see the same centering every, every darn time. It's come out of the same box. Unbelievable. And then the other Shaq. <laughs> so there's no shortage of uh, getting the main cards that you want. You're going to get quite a few of the same cards. We'll go through at the end of all the main ones and how many we got of each. Uh, just to show you. You know, what you can expect if you get one of these boxes. Ah, oh, man. Got almost 10 people in here. If you guys want to hit the like button, I do appreciate it. Uh. Two packs left, and we'll kind of do a recap, and then uh, we'll bust out another box for you guys. Yeah, I got plenty of time here. You should probably can bust the other box out in like 15 minutes. It's just like I, got, I still got two boxes of that 90 hoops. And I kind of want to get through it. All right, let's see what else we got here. Dominique Wilkins, Charles Barkley, Corey Williams, Spud Webb, Robert Parrish. And then we always got that guy, Lafonso Ellis. He's always upside down. And then we get Dennis Rodman. And coming up on the last few cards here. Pretty nice box, though. I, I, you know, I was pleasantly surprised. There's um, Patrick Ewing and Alonzo Morning at the end there. Just give you guys a recap here. Um, yeah, definitely more than uh, more than I was expecting. Um, so we got Shaq. We got Jordan. It's just kind of separate here based on the cards. Okay, so we got five Shaq base rookies, five Shaq slam dunk rookies, five Alonzo Morning rookies, and then four Michael Jordan cards. And then, let's see, Sprewell and Leitner, Sprewell, Leitner, Sprewell, Leitner, Sprewell, Leitner, Sprewell, Leitner. So we got five of each on all the rookies, um, all the main rookies. 
and then the Jordan for whatever reason we only got four but that is a lot more than usual on boxes so I will take that all day long 10 Shaq rookies and four Jordans for you know a $70 box pretty sure I can get my money back out of those even uh, even ungraded uh, so yeah let's get into the hoops box here uh, like I said I bought four actually I had five of these and we opened two on the first day and then we did another one after you know another box we opened um, looking for the David Robinson rookie card actually it's a second year card We're looking for Sean Kemp rookie card uh, the Jordan uh, the Jordan card the Jordan all-star card um, I just obliterated that box I don't care and then the uh, Jordan wearing the 12 jersey on the the other guy's card and then the um, Mark Jackson card with the Menendez brothers in the background. And then I guess you could say like the Phil Jackson card is pretty decent as well. So, yep, yeah, this will be our fourth box of this one that we're going to be opening. And like I said, the pla you know, these packs are way easier to kind of just rip them right open. Just kind of like... We haven't got a lot of... Uh, Grade worthy cards out of this set just because of the, the cuts of the card, the centering, mostly just the centering, but pretty easy um, to get through theirs. And then sometimes we have issues where the cards are actually bent, like that card there. It's very unfortunate. There's Dirt, uh, Dennis Rodman. Um, just looking for the main ones here. There's Tim Hardaway's rookie. That's a decent one. Clyde Drexler. I'll probably go through and pull the better cards out here at the end we miss any oops felt like there was another card Chucky Brown Charles Barkley Mookie Blaylock rookie card some of these are pretty undervalued like Sean Elliott rookie card Chris Mullen Reggie Miller so no Jordan on that first four packs there so two Jordan cards you got the Jordan all-star and the Jordan base and we actually had one box with two Jordans, a uh, base card, and both of them had a crease through the same exact spot of the card. <laughs> and it was just like, come on, man. Um, but I, I already have both Jordans in a PSA 10, so any, uh, any more 10s that I get, I'm just going to end up selling them off. Joe Dumars, Patrick Ewing. There we go, we got the Sam Vincent card. Um, that one actually looks really nicely centered. There's kind of like a factory line going through it. And a couple like scratches right there too. And right in there. So it's, unfortunately he's got some surface issues there. But we got the Sam Vincent and you can see Michael Jordan standing there with the number 12 jersey. As his, uh, his jersey got stolen apparently. That's how the story goes. So that's a pretty famous card. Um... So yeah, we will be pulling those out of here. I think I got probably five of those already. Larry Bird, probably just gonna end up selling them all off once I uh, open all these boxes. So like I said, that's you know that that card and then the Menendez brothers card and then the two Jordans, kind of the main cards that you're looking for in here. Chris Mullins, Glenn Rice rookie card. And if you're not you know pulling gem at cards out, you're not making your money back I mean you're gonna make your money back I got 20 bucks into these there it is the Menendez brothers Mark Jackson car you can see him right on the sideline oh man this one's definitely definitely off-centered so that's kind of the unfortunate thing with these boxes I'm getting all these good cards but they're always off-centered all right let's keep this going Magic Johnson card there Stacy King rookie card Fat Lever, Fat Lever again, Isaiah Thomas, alright, not bad, I'm putting those all-star sets together too, I think there's like 20 something cards, but they're only going for like 5 bucks on eBay, so I don't know if I'm going to list them, spend that time to list them just to get 5 bucks, but we will see, still haven't seen the Sean Kemp rookie card yet, Kind of, I think one of the more iconic cards that you're gonna see go up in value. Because 90, you had Skybox, 
you had hoops and you had uh, FLIR. FLIR, the FLIR ones are always going to be worth more. Charles Barkley, Mookie ba Blaylock, at least I think they're always going to be worth more. Because they first started producing the FLIR in uh, 86 and then every year everyone's trying to collect those FLIR cards and then all of a sudden um, Hoops comes out and then Skybox, Spud Webb, Cliff Robinson rookie card, that's a decent one. But it seems like the hoops just are not as valuable, not as sought after. Even though I think these are just, just as iconic. There we go, we got a Jordan card and it is his all-star card. A couple little, see if you can see like a couple little white things there, you can kind of like go over it with your finger and it'll kind of like shave it off almost. Um, I was going to say it looked a little off-center top to bottom, but on the back it's looking pretty darn good. So, Michael Jeffrey Jordan All-Star card. Centering looks good. Pack fresh. I'm going to say that that could be a PSA 10 candidate. So, awesome. We finally got something great worthy out of this opening. Um, everything in the flare was off-centered. It's probably P all PSA 8s. Okay. Next four packs here. We're almost halfway done uh, already. And there's a Phil Jackson card. Very nice. I didn't realize how many different manager cards. He had the 89 hoops manager card. He had the 90 hoops. He had Skybox. And he was... There was a lot of uh, Phil Jackson manager cards. I just didn't, didn't realize it. Or coach cards, I should say. Coach cards. Not manager. All right. Still looking for the base Jordan card here. And the Sean Kemp rookie card. Stu Jackson. There's the Phil Jackson. Very, very nice. That actually looks really nice. Larry Bird, Carl Malone. And don't underestimate Phil Jackson. He's in the Hall of Fame. Everybody, you know, he's part of the, the Bulls documentary and everything. And his cards definitely bring a premium, especially in PSA 10 condition. David Robinson, Isaiah Thomas, Mitch Richmond. See, that's got that same crease in that same exact spot. Ah, that's so annoying. And I think, is it, it's not, it doesn't say his rookie card in there, so maybe his rookie was 89, must have been. John Morton, okay, still not finding the Jordan base. Very strange. All right. Very iconic set. I was pretty lucky I got... I had a seller that had a bunch of boxes of these. And I... I made him an offer for five boxes for like a hundred bucks. Or whatever it was. It's like $103 shipped or something like that. So it's just over 20 bucks a box. Which uh, I thought was a great, a great deal. Pooh Richardson rookie card. Tim Hardaway rookie card. Clyde Drexler... Lots of no-namers. Isaiah Thomas. Why are we getting all Muggsy Bogues? Like, we're getting all these other guys. Where's the Jordans at here? Besides only one Jordan uh, All-Star card. So it's quite, quite strange. Scotty Pippen All-Star card. Because out of the first box uh, that we opened of these, I think we got, like, three All-Stars and, like, two base Jordans. Or one base and three all It was something crazy. It was a lot more than we're getting here, obviously. B.J. Armstrong rookie card. John Stockton. Will Purdue. Robert Parrish, Hall of Famer. Okay. Mark Jackson. Did I miss a Mark Jackson? Let me look back through. I might have missed one. Just Mark Eaton, Mark Bryant. one. Kenny Walker, Mark O'Leary, Michael Adams, Michael Cooper, Mark O'Leary. Okay, I'm not seeing another Mark Jackson, so. But we did get one earlier on. 
Still haven't seen the Jordan base card though. Craig Anthony Hodges. I don't know why they added in the middle name. I thought it's kind of dumb. A lot of people don't want you knowing what their middle name is. But there's Sam Bowie card. Very nice. Manu Bowl. AC Green. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, we got the, both AC Greens. And look at that. We got the Michael Jordan card. Nice. Definitely a little bit off-centered. Probably nine on the centering. Surface does look a little bit weird. Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Very nice. So, I think it's a little bit top to bottom, but we might look into grading that. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not sure what the nines are going for now that the tens are going for so much money. Uh, David Robinson, second year card. Kevin McHale, so maybe we'll get the, um, since we hadn't seen the David Robinson or the Jordan, maybe we'll get that uh, Sean Kemp rookie card. And there it is. Nice. I knew it. I seen that S. I'm like, Sean Kemp rookie card. We got one and it had like a weird stain on it. This one's a little bit left to right. I'm not sure what the, I think even the PSA 10 on this is only like 30 bucks. I think it's way undervalued. Um, but probably won't grade it. It's just a little off center. If it ain't gonna get a ten, it's not worth it. At least, at least for right now. Kim Olajuwon, Vladi Divac. He's a Hall of Famer. Which I did not know that till I looked it up. James Worthy, Sam Mitchell, Horace Grant, Scotty Pippen, base card. Magic Johnson, Reggie Miller. I've been picking up Reggie Miller rookie cards and John Stockton rookie cards for pretty cheap. 20, 30 bucks a piece and like pretty near mint to mint, possibly mint condition. Um, it's a hard card to find really nicely centered. So if you can get a, find a good sharp corners, um, nice, nice edges, no, no surface issues. And it's got a really good center you got a good shot at a nine, if not, maybe even a 10. So that's kind of what I've been doing. Yeah, there was a lot of marks in the set, so you might have thought you saw Mark Jackson, but, but it wasn't. All right, a few more packs left. Um, if we don't get anything in the mail tomorrow, shoot, I don't even know what we're going to open. <laughs> oh, yeah, we still got the 90 Fleer, but like I said, I'm trying to wait for that next box. We could always just do some old boxes or do some baseball or something. So I still got some baseball sitting there. Sam Bowie again. Um, De Delaney Rudd, Dominique Wilkins, Chris Mullins, Glenn Rice rookie card, Fat, Le Fat Lever, Magic Johnson, Stacy King rookie, Mark Jackson. There he is. Very nice. Um. A little bit off center, definitely left to right, and I think it's a little bit top to bottom. So probably not gonna be ten worthy there. And you can see on the back, see how the top's like really close to the top, and then on the bottom, got a bigger, bigger border on the bottom there. So not sure what that sells for even in a nine. So I might not even. I just end up selling them all raw and just if I got like six or seven of them, just get whatever the market price is. Let somebody else waste their money, grade them if they want. Uh, there's Isaiah Thomas, Pat Riley, Scotty Poopin, no, no tipping Pippin, Delph Shrimp, Fat Lever again. There's another Sean Kemp rookie card, very nice. Another off centered Sean Kemp rookie card. Once again, I've probably got five of these already. So I'm not really sure what the price would be on that for you know, pack fresh cards, but probably only a few bucks, honestly. The Menendez Bros. Yep, Lamar Jackson. What's going on? Yeah, the old Mark Jackson uh, Menendez Brothers card, very famous. 
I thought when I bought this, like, oh, I can get PSA 10s of that card or, you know, the other one. Um, or the two Jordan cards, but we haven't seen too many nicely centered cards here. So, there's BJ Armstrong, and see that's really off center. John Stockton right behind it. Last packs of the video here, guys. Appreciate you coming. Like always, let me know in the comments what you thought. What's your favorite cards from this set? And also the Fleer set we opened. There's Sean Elliott, rookie card. Steve Kerr. See, some of these cards have that weird surface on them. Like something weird happened. Then you look at the rest of them and they look fine. Reggie Miller. Patrick Ewing. So, here we go. We got another Sam Perkins card. This one's actually looking pretty good. I think the centering is definitely pretty good on that. Um, yeah, that might actually be gray worthy for once. Sweet. Might have to look that over, guys. That could be a, a 10 worthy card. I think I'll just, you know, even if, there, if I grade it and it gets a 9, I'll probably just put it in my collection. It's kind of like one of those iconic cards because you got Jordan just standing there in the front with that 12 jersey on. Just one of those, I think, iconic cards is just going to go up in value. Larry Bird, Dennis Rodman, Kim Olajuwon, Dominique Wilkins, and that's it for the box. So let's do a little recap on the hoops as well. Why not? Um, so, yeah, the Sam Vincent card. We had two of them. We had two Sean Kemp rookies. We had two Mark Jacksons. And then, uh, unfortunately, we only had one of each on the Michael uh, Jordans, and then we had one uh, Phil Jackson card, which I think has a few little scratches and scuffs, uh, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, hoops corrected that, Vincent. Did they really? I didn't know that. So apparently there's another version. I don't know what, what they needed to correct. I mean, yeah, Jordan's got a 12 jersey on, but it's not like it's an error. It's just that's what he was wearing the day that they took the photo. So I don't know why anybody would want to fix it or anything like that. But, um, yeah, that does it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, we had fun. We'll be back tomorrow for some more box openings. Hopefully you have a good day. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and we'll see you in the next one.